Hey everyone, welcome back for the Performance Fit Series. Dr. Bob and Till here from Performance Physical Therapy, here to talk to you about upper extremity and core plyometrics. So strength is great, but as long as it can translate onto the field, it really means nothing. So that's where the, the explosive training comes from, plyometrics, um, work at a high speed uh, to develop that power on the field or on the court. Um, so we're going to be using a med ball today. Um, it's important to use a light med ball. So this is only going to be six pounds, something that I can move at a high rate of speed because um, you do not want to be slowed down by the weight of the ball because we're trying to generate max effort, max force and, and power output. If I use too heavy of a ball and I'm moving at a slower rate of speed, I'm really not training the systems that I want to train. So go lighter uh, when in doubt and we're only going to go for low reps because um, I don't want to get to a point of exhaustion. I want to be performing at a high, high, high level with each repetition. So if you start to get tired, that's your indication you want to kind of cut it back, rest, and then resume again. So we're going to start off with a standing overhead med ball slam. So we're going to be working on core, um, explosive power, um, nice athletic stance. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this ball overhead, we're going to pivot, and we're going to slam down using our core, okay? So almost like a crunch and we're gonna be alternating side to side. So we're gonna do two sets of five. All right, like I said, each rep, high velocity, high power output. Ready, up and down. Last two. Last one. All right, next exercise is gonna be a high kneeling overhead med ball throw against the wall. So make sure you're far enough back where the ball's not gonna rebound too quickly and hit you. So kind of test it out a few throws before you start to go at a high rate of speed. For this one, we're gonna go overhead and we're just gonna throw it against the ball. We're utilizing our abs, back of our arms to accelerate this ball. About five reps. And again, we're not going to exhaustion, so just low reps. We're gonna to switch to another one. We're gonna do a chest pass, okay? So same stance, high kneeling, using the wall. We're going from our chest, exploding out. Sit back, load forward, catch your hands. Good, right back to the overhead slams. And chest pass. And one more. Good. So now we're going to add a rotational component to it. Okay, so we're going to be standing up, doing underhand rotational med ball throws to the wall. Okay? So we're going to go right in our back pocket, rotate into the walls fast as you can. Good. Now we'll switch. Five reps. Sink the hips. 
accelerating with our core and our hips. Back to the other side. And one more time through. Last rep. Good. All right. Let's take a break if you need it. Otherwise, continue on. Again, we want high velocity, high speed, start to slow down, rest. We're gonna do a push, uh, push throw over the wall, okay? So you're gonna be kneeling, overhead throws, working on extension. All our posterior mus musculature, our back, throwing up. Again, make sure that this ball's not gonna come boink you on the head. It should land somewhere two to three feet in front of you if you have a partner that can retrieve you the ball. That'd be the best case, but it's manageable by yourself. But what are you gonna do? Start low, you can explode up, extend, and you're throwing it right against the wall, landing in front of you. And you can repeat that five reps. Two more. Last one. Good. Now we're gonna combine that with an explosive push up. So we're gonna add a little clap, coming down slow, exploding up, clap, catch yourself slow on the way down, exploding on the way up. Five reps. And if, if you can't do an explosive push-up on your feet, on your knees is just fine, okay? Because again, we're, we're, we're emphasizing high rate of speed. If you're on your feet, you're really, really slow, go to your knees. Another regression is to do this on an elevated surface, such as like a low-lying step or a countertop. Still getting the same effect. Try to be as efficient as you can, all right? So on the way down, slow, slow, slow. Up, clap. One more. And we'll go right back to our med ball throws. Sink back at the hips, using the posterior musculature, exploding up. One more. And we'll finish up with the exploding push-ups. Two more. And last one. All right, so that was a quick Upper body and core plyometric circuit, easily uh, introduced to any routine. What I would suggest, if you are gonna incorporate it into your routine, do that prior to any upper body lifting, just because you want as efficient movements and as fast movements as possible, the more fatigued you are, the slower you're gonna get. So add that first.